Hi there. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. How are you doing today? By any chance, are you thinking about how to prepare for a networking job interview? If yes, you are at the correct place. My name is Vishnu Dutt and I work as a network architect in Cisco Systems. In this video series, we are going to discuss in detail about questions asked by topmost companies to hire their networking staff. And yes, of course, I will be discussing in-depth solutions too. This series is mainly for the people having zero to three years of experience in computer networking. After having discussed with some of my colleagues, I have designed 15 questions in a logical order. So are you ready guys? Let's begin. Here is the first set of five questions. The first question is, why do we need to write subnet mask along with the IP address? Guys, believe me, answering to the point is the key to crack any interview. And to do that, we need to understand what exactly interviewer is looking for. What is the intent of asking this question? What are the various concepts involved here? What are the follow-up questions which interviewer may ask once you have finished answering the current one, right? To deal with this, my approach will be to explain in detail the various concepts involved and to whiteboard them. Once we have the solid understanding of the concepts, we can answer any follow-up question effectively. For this reason, I will create one video per question. So you will get 15 videos as part of this series. So as you can see, our first question, which is why do we need to write subnet mask along with the IP address, requires a complete understanding of IP subnetting. IP subnetting is one of the most important and easy concept in networking, but most of the guys don't know it well. The reason is, in our daily life, we calculate everything in decimal number system, right? But here we try to calculate various networks based on binary number system, which is zeros and ones. Computer can understand it easily because it is designed to understand zero and ones. But we humans are habitual with decimal number system, right? Or you can say that over the period of time, we are really, really comfortable with decimal number system. You can answer or explain IP subnetting better when you understand and start thinking about this concept in decimal instead of binary system. And exactly, we are going to do this. The second question is, how do computers talk when they are in same network? This question is intended to ask how actually network switch works and is one of the most basic question. Once again, this looks simple, but it requires a deep understanding of concepts like address resolution protocol, which is ARP, how switch builds its CAM table, VLANs, and how ICMP ping works, okay? If you have observed, the sequence of this question is important, and it is necessary that you follow them in same order. These are ordered in such a way that you can answer question number two effectively if you have a fair understanding of question number one. So yes, you got it right that along with ARP, CAM table, VLAN, and ICMP ping, you must have the knowledge of IP addressing if you want to answer this question or question number two. Similarly, understanding of concepts associated with question number one to four are required if you want to answer question number five, okay? And that's why I mentioned these questions are logically ordered, okay? Third question is, how do computers talk when they are in different network? This one is an extension of question number two. And yes, absolutely, it requires how a typical router works. In this question, we are going to discuss about the destination-based routing and how a router connects to different networks. The fourth question is layer two loop prevention. If you have observed till now, I haven't mentioned name of a specific technology while discussing a question, right? For example, in this question, I am asking, how would you avoid loop in layer two network? If you understand it well, the intent is to know your knowledge on STP or spanning tree protocol. 
and yes most of the times an interviewer asks you question without mentioning the name of the underlying technology it's your responsibility to figure out the exact concepts you need to explain to answer it yep great so here is the fifth question that is why osi model if we are already running tcp ip model everywhere the intent here is to know whether you possess a good understanding of both models and how exactly data traffic flow from one layer to another layer this is going to be an amazing discussion because knowledge of concepts associated with tcp ip model is a must for any network engineer now let's have a look at next set of questions okay the sixth question which is pain for most of the guys is why do we need mac address if we already have ip address assigned although there are many explanations already available for this but you may not find the exact answer easily this requires a complete understanding of tcp ip model layered approach and how ethernet works believe me you will enjoy the learning when we explain all the concepts associated with this question troubleshooting is one of the most important task of a network engineer there are many tools available to troubleshoot an issue and traceroute is one of them it would be great if you know how exactly traceroute works correct question number 8 and 9 test your knowledge of tcp protocol in my observation tcp is one of the weakest areas of a network engineer as we mostly deal till layer 3 and tcp is a layer 4 concept right i would like to emphasize here that you should have a strong fundamental knowledge of tcp as this is frequently asked by top companies so here we will discuss tcp three way handshake sequencing and how mss and mtu are related question number 10 deals with you understanding of domain name system or dns which is required to have a complete picture of how exactly internet works are you with me till now ready for the next set of question yeah here you go this number 11 is my favorite which is what happens when you write www.google.com on your browser this question tests your end to end understanding of networking fundamentals the reason i put this on number 11 is that you must know all the concepts till question number 10 I have seen companies asking this question to a fresher as well as experienced network professional. The crucial part is that you can answer this question in 3 minutes or you can also answer this question in 2 hours. This is interesting, right? We know that dynamic routing protocol like OSPF and EIGRP are implemented in most of the networks, right? But we still need static routing. In question number 12 we will be discussing the nitty gritties of static routing and why it is so important in some cases. In question number 13 we will look into most widely adopted interior gateway routing protocol and how it avoids loop. We all know that OSPF is a link state protocol, right? But we will see the scenarios where OSPF behaves as a distance vector routing protocol. This is going to be another great discussion. right the next question is based on how creative you are till question number 13 you have all the important concepts in your pocket right can you use all these concepts to design a small office network the intent of this question is to know your approach when you design a small network what networking devices you place at what layer i am pretty sure that you are going to love this discussion the last and of course not the least is 15th question which is scenario based question here we will discuss the approach to troubleshoot a particular network issue i will create a situation in a network simulator and guide you towards a step by step method to isolate and rectify a particular network issue the intent of this question is to know your approach when you debug a particular issue I hope you have liked the questions and now it's time to deep dive into each and every question. As the length of this video is already 12 minutes, let's discuss our first question that is why do we write subnet masks along with IP address 
in next video. One more announcement is that if you provide me your email ID, you will get to know about my videos in advance. My WhatsApp number and email ID are mentioned in description box below. Don't forget to subscribe this channel as the future videos are going to be important for you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you in next one.